Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. It's May 26th, 2022 Ascension Day. I'm going to do a video on that later. I'm still going to work on my research for that. The first homework assignment is to read Galatians 1, verses 1 through 10, and I'm in the King James Version. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from his present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ under another gospel which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men, or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Okay, and the second homework assignment is Psalms 119, verses 41 through 48. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproaches me, for I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually for ever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Turn this off. So, if I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Galatians 1, verse 10. That is the biggest that, that's the biggest um, lesson for that you need to learn quickly. Everyone needs to learn, if you haven't already. You need to spread that. And I'm going to say it again. If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. You can't please man and follow Christ. It's not, they don't work together. You have to follow Christ first. And then what man, it, you won't even care about that. What man has to say after that. Just saying. Trust me on that. Have I deceived you yet? No. It's not my intentions. I'm here to open up the truth, spread the truth, and enlighten this world. While well, he still wants me here. Today's title is God Pleasers. An overemphasis on tolerance in our culture has encouraged us to be silent, to be people pleasers. When we hear someone speak favorably about homosexuality, drunkenness, and all the manner of sin, tolerance tells us not to stir the pot. As a social tactic, it seems wise. Keeping our mouths shut gives the appearance that everyone is happy. But Jesus gave his life for our sins and delivered us from this present evil age so that we could be pleasing before God. As Christians, we should seek to please God with our works, not man. When the world's gospel of tolerance would have us muzzled, we have an opportunity to speak up for the gospel of Christ. This includes defending our Christian morals. If we do not stand up for the morality of our faith, we imply by our silence, that we support the sin from which Christ has freed us. 
Conversely, breaking our silence shows reverence for Christ's gospel. You know it. Thankfully, we are not alone in this task. We can pray to our Lord that we might have the courage to uphold the gospel. We can daily ask our God to help us find the words and actions that most effectively defend our faith. With God's help, we can respond tactfully and powerfully as God pleasers we are called to be. Lord, when opposition to the gospel message arises, help us to be pleasing to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that division de devotion. Stay tuned. More coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.